Hi everyone, it's me again, bringing you another 123loadboard.com video. Today's video is about posting a single truck. Let's get started. Once you've logged into your account, there's two ways you can access the single truck post page. The first option is to click on the single truck post link located on your dashboard's carrier summary section. Your second option is to click on the carrier link in the top menu, which will bring you to the main carrier section. From there, you can click on the Single Truck Post link located on the left menu. Once clicked, you will see the Single Truck Post window open. The single posting form is split into six sections. We will go through each one right now. The first section is where you enter the origin point of your truck. In other words, the specific location where your truck is. For example, if you dropped off a load in Miami, Florida, and are ready to haul a load out of there, enter Miami, Florida in the origin point field. The radius is the mileage you are willing to drive around Miami to locate a matching load. 100 is a default value which you can always change. In our case, we are willing to drive 300 to get a load. The next section is where you enter the desired destination or destinations that you are willing to haul to. If you can haul anywhere, leave the field as is. If not, click on the field and a pop-up window will appear giving you two options either to select from a map or enter a specific city or zip. In our case, we can haul a load back to the west coast, so we click on Oregon, California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, and then click Apply. You will notice that the five states we selected appear in the desired destination field. Should you wish to add or remove states from this list, click on the field again and select or unselect additional states. Next, you will need to specify your truck equipment type. In our case, we have a flatbed with tarps. Start by clicking on the equipment field and selecting flatbed using the drop-down list provided. Once selected, we can click on the specs to select optional specifications for our equipment type. In our case, we have tarps, so therefore we will select tarps by scrolling down the list and checking the box next to tarps. The next section is where you enter the date your truck is available to pick up a load. In our case, we just dropped off a load and therefore we're ready now. Let's select today's date on the calendar provided. You will notice that you can either type or select multiple dates by using your mouse. If you make a mistake, click on the date to unselect. Let's also go ahead and select the next two days just in case there's no loads matching our truck for today. Please note that if you're posting a truck that is available daily from the same location, Select as many dates as you wish. Let's click Close to apply those dates. At this point, you can already click on Post as we've completed all required fields marked with a red asterisk. Let's move on to the next section. The first field allows you to enter the trailer length. In our case, we have a 48-foot flatbed, so we will enter 48. If you have an LTL truck, simply check on the box provided. The Available Trailer Weight field allows us to enter the maximum weight that we can haul. Let's enter 45,000 pounds. The Team Driven field asks us if we are a team of drivers who alternate driving and resting. In our case, we are not team driven. The Quantity field allows you to enter the amount of available trucks. In our case, it's only one. The Additional Info box allows you to enter any additional information you want the broker or shipper to know prior to calling you. The Minimum Pay Rate field allows you to enter the amount of payment per mile that you require in dollars. The Minimum Distance field allows you to enter the minimum distance you are willing to haul a load. The last section allows you to edit your contact details which are pre-filled from your account. Double check the contact name phone number and email address just to make sure all is correct. If all is good, click the post button. Don't worry if you made a mistake, our system will tell you and give you suggestions. Once the page refreshes, you will see your posted truck with available load matches. Well, this ends our 123loadboard.com video on posting a single truck. I hope it was informative.